everybody. I wanted to jump on here really quickly and talk about the Simon and Portia mess. Okay, you guys might call it a divorce. I call it a mess. And then we're going to talk about how Simon is outsmarting Portia. Now, I don't know if I just made up a word, smarting, but you get the drift. He is really playing a better divorce game than Portia would have ever imagined. Now, you guys know I've been off for a whole week, so I had this story before I left for a week. And then I come back, and it's gotten worse, okay? Let's get into it. So we all know production has shut down. They stopped filming, and that's because Simon says that he doesn't want them filming in his house. And not only that, if he finds out that they're filming, he's going to sue them. Well, you guys know how Bravo is about lawsuits. They shut it down. And a lot of people are thinking, why did they have to shut it down? Just go film at Portia's other house, the one she had before she married Simon. Well, she can't do that unless she plans on not getting any money out of this divorce. I mean, we all know that's the number one rule in a divorce. Any party that leaves the house, the person that remains in the home has the better chance of keeping the home. I mean, that's the number one rule for anybody getting a divorce. Do not leave that home. Look at Jeannie Mai, okay? She wouldn't leave that home if it was on fire. Her and Coco will be balled up in a corner somewhere, letting the house burn down, but they're not going to leave. mm 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 So if Portia leaves that home and she leaves Simon's home, the judge is going to say, you already have another residency that you're filming at because she's going to tell the lie that this is my mom's home. This is not my home anymore. The only home that I have is our marital home. But the judge is going to say, well, you seem to be able to have a life outside of that home. So she's in a dilemma. She's stuck between a rock and a hard place. She doesn't know what to do. Even if she went to a hotel or got another apartment just for filming, mm, 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 you must remain in the home. And Simon knows this. This is probably why he changed the locks. He's trying to get Portia out that house any way that he can. And to be honest, I don't think that Portia expected this kind of fight from Simon. Because when she dated the cousin, what is his name? Bashran Amakore. It was simple. He brought her a $500,000 Rolls Royce. She held on to it for a little while and then tra- traded it in for cash. So I'm sure Simon was like, do you think you're going to play me like you did my cousin? If you're thinking that, you got another thing coming. So he knows if she leaves this house, she doesn't get a dime. So he's pretty smart with that. He's making sure she is, gets out of that house any way that she can. But he's even playing a better game than that. He has gone around and befriended all of Portia's friends' husbands. And when I say all of them, I mean all of them. No, let me clear it up. When I say all of them, I'm talking about anybody that's filming The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Used to film, going to film, all of them. And you guys know how it is. If uh, someone's a friend of our husband, then we have a tendency to lighten up. We're not going to drag him for filth. Because that's my husband's friend, and I'm going to see him on Friday when we all hang out. It also means when we start filming, I'm not going to drag Simon for filth. They're going to watch their words. So when it comes to Simon, they're going to say, oh, he, you know, we, he, we get along with him. He's not that bad of a guy. Or I, I wish the best for both of them. So if everybody goes around praising Simon, this is going to make Portia look like a real lunatic. And money hungry in the very least. And to be quite honest, I didn't know why he was doing this. I saw him befriending all of her friends, but I didn't know what was going on. It took a family member to tell me what exactly was going on. Definitely Team Simon. I've known Simon for years. He used to be my neighbor. Um, I am. I am Team Simon. And guess what? Huge fan of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I can't wait to watch this season. Now, they're also saying that Portia is well aware that this is not a good look for the camera. No one... Absolutely no one's saying bad things about Simon, and she's the only one. They're also saying that she's very frustrated about it, and really, there's nothing she can do about it. She can't keep dumping all of her friends because they like Simon. She did Nene, but Nene was one of the first people to come forward in support of Simon. Now, let's just take a second to be in Portia's shoes for one minute. All of your friends are saying on camera, he's a good guy. You know, I don't know what happened. I wish these two the best. And you're the only one. He's a pig. He shouldn't be in this country. He has a criminal past. 
Not only does that make Portia look bad, it also helps with immigration. Because his argument is, I've been here all of these years, and yeah, I did criminal things in the past, but that was 30-something years ago. I'm a good citizen now. Now, speaking of immigration, they're saying that Simon has been coming in and out of the United States at least two times in the last six months. Then after he returns, he posts cryptic messages. This one posting says, in Dubai, I get more dates by being from Nigeria than the U.S. Shocking perspective. According to the rumors, he posted that after returning from Dubai, and the latest cryptic posting he made says, enter the comments when you've secured an international passport and secured your first entry stamp. Travel and come chat with me. Your dream vacation is my lifestyle. Now, if these rumors are true, damn, Simon's bold as hell. I'm thinking he's just not playing games with Portia. He's playing games with my ass, too, because he surely doesn't act like a man that's on the verge of being deported. So I'm thinking maybe he isn't going to be deported, even though the lawsuit looks like he should be. Does he know something that the rest of us don't? And then I second guess everything. Like, is he really rich and not poor like the rumors are saying? Is the oil company real? I mean, I'm all effed up in the head. No wonder Portia don't know what to do. I mean, girl, I get it now. I get it. Anyway, they're saying that she's very frustrated and she threatened to quit on Friday. Now, Portia, I'm just going to assume that you were frustrated. You know you can't quit, Bravo. They have a solid contract on your ass. Plus, you're in a phase in your life right now where you need money, okay? You're not a at-home housewife anymore. You are a working mom, and you need to all your coins. A lawsuit would do the opposite. It would deplete your coins. And let's not forget how vindictive Andy Cohen is. If you sue them, you will be sitting in the same chair that NeNe Leakes is sitting in. That's being blackballed, not only from Bravo, from all networks. But with that being said, I don't have a solution for you, Portia. If you let Bravo film anywhere on Simon's property, you're toast in the divorce. The judge is going to say, you're not down and out. I don't see a reason why you get half of the proceeds of the house because you showed that you can establish a life on your own. Maybe you can let uh, Bravo film on the grass, you know, while everybody's outside talking about why you can't go inside. No, no, I just realized that's not going to work either because the grass is his property also. I I mean, maybe she can go to a park. I don't know what Portia's going to do. He really has damn there checkmated her ass because quitting would be the obvious solution. You can't do that. I mean, I'm starting to feel really bad for Portia. What is she going to do? And then not only that, you got Fallon resurfacing, doing interviews, saying that she knew we were married and, and you know, making you look like a man stealer. It's not looking good for Portia Williams, not at all. I wish I could help, but girl, I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you guys in the chat have some solutions for Portia. I mean, it really looked like uh, Simon has backed you in a corner that you really just can't get out of unless you don't you walk away from that house. I mean, it really looks that way. If anybody in the chat has any solutions for Portia, let me know. Also, just comment on the situation as a whole. Until next time, bye for now.